Yeah, and Bill, talking to advocates, they say that the maternal and infant mortality issue is one that they all need to come together on. It's something that Governor Northam is trying to do through the budget. Meanwhile, here in Richmond today, hundreds of stakeholders came together to talk about addressing it and hearing from those who have been directly impacted. It was a wonderful soul, taken from the earth, obviously, too soon. Crystal Matthews um, fondly remembers her twin sister, Carrie Noss, who died over three years ago at the end of her pregnancy at the age of 39. Uncomplicated pregnancy other than advanced maternal age. Matthews says when delivery day arrived... She's putting on mascara from her bed, anticipating the guests and the delivery of Noah. But then Carrie started feeling unwell. Family was asked to leave the room and she passed. Um, while we're in the, the waiting area. Carrie's son Noah was delivered without a heartbeat, but is recovering and is now doing great. Matthew says her sister died from amniotic fluid embolism. Unpreventable and unpredictable uh, rare event. Matthew shared her family's story Monday at a conference aimed to address the state's infant and maternal mortality rates. For the latter, while the rest of the world has seen those rates decline, the U.S. has gone up, Virginia included, and it gets worse when broken down by race. African American women are two to three times, their rates two to three times higher than um, for white women. Dr. Melanie Rouse says health equity issues and implicit bias are among the reasons for the disparity. And from the health care provider side of things, overcoming them starts with admitting it's a problem. It's really just talking about it. I'm really actually being open and discussing the issue. While nonprofits like March of Dimes offers up programs to expectant and postnatal women. We're really excited to bring this many people together from around the state because statewide collaboration is what's needed. Matthew says Virginia has taken big steps in the last three years, but there is much more to be done. I wish that I didn't have to see maternal mortality or infant loss. Um, I think that's everybody's goal. And Governor Northam, for his part, he put in his two-year proposed budget, $22 million to address the infant and maternal mortality rates, extending a Medicaid program for pregnant and uh, postnatal women, along with making home visits reimbursable under Medicaid. Talking to his spokesperson today, she said that while they have shifted some of the money around, the full $22 million remains intact in both the House and Senate versions of the budget. Working for you at the State Capitol, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.